Hey guys, here's a quick video showing you how to play Smoke on the Water. Yes, I wish it was Pop Smoke on the Water, uh, but it's not, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> it's a really easy song, and it's usually the first song that you learn how to play on the guitar. So, hey, rock out, let's do it. So here's what it sounds like. I'm gonna play it once, and then I'm gonna teach you the three different parts, and then I'll play it for you again at the end. All of this song, this entire song, is on the sixth string, just so you know. So that's the string that's the closest to you when you hold the guitar correctly. I'm not using a pick today because I don't have one close by and that's just fine. You don't need to use a pick. Um, so reminder, sixth string is the thickest string and it's the closest to you. Everything is going to be on here and you're going to just be using the frets along here. You can also honestly just use one finger if that works for you right now, but feel free to use two fingers or maybe even, I eh, don't need to use three, maybe just your first two fingers. Okay, here we go. Here's what it sounds like. And I'm a cornball, so. I get excited when I play that song because it's a funny song. Anywho, first section goes like this. You're going to start with your sixth string open, which means play it without holding anything down. The next note, you're going to use your, most likely it's your left hand. Your left hand is going to press down in the middle of the third fret. So remember that you count the frets back from the very top here of the neck and you count the spaces. So this is fret one, this is fret two, this is fret three. This is where we need to be, but your hand does not need to be flat. You can have your finger up, and so the very tip of your finger is pressing down pretty hard to get that note nice and clear, okay? So my thumb is helping me out in the back to hold down that note. If you don't hold down your fret, the string on the fret hard enough, you'll get something that sounds like this. And if you hear something like that, that just means that you need to press harder. Okay? At first your fingers will hurt, but the good news is, is the more you play, honestly, and just even after a few days of practicing for 10 minutes, your fingers will start to get used to it and they won't hurt nearly as much. Okay? So, anyways, open three. Then your next one, you're going to slide up to five, your fifth fret. Same string. Okay, so open, three, five. You might also notice here that on your guitar you most likely have a dot either right here on the side or on the very front of the neck here on the fretboard on five. Um, that's just to help your eyes remember, you know, when you're playing quickly. So, that's the first section, all right? The second section is almost exactly the same. It just adds one more note, all right? And it occurs on your sixth fret. So, it starts out exactly the same. And instead of going straight to five, you see how I did that quick six, five, little slide thing? So, you're gonna head past that dot to your sixth fret, just for a moment and then go to five. It's almost like you make a mistake on purpose, if that makes sense. So the second section goes open, three, six, five. Okay, you might wanna pause it and just practice that much so far, or even pause it earlier, but I'm gonna play both sections together right now and I'm gonna keep going on to the third part if you're ready, okay? So here are sections one and two played together. Open, three, five, open, three, six, five. Now the third and final section, again, is almost exactly the same, except it has a little ending on it, all right? So it starts exactly like section number one, the open, three, five. There's no six this time. 
but instead of going to somewhere else, you're gonna actually backtrack to three. It's like you're going in rewind, and then you're gonna hit open, open twice. Hit is the wrong word, you get what I'm saying. So the third section again goes open, three, five, three, open, open. The whole thing all together with every section sounds like this one more time. And I'm gonna say the frets out loud as I do it. And also there's going to be some guitar tabs up along with this assignment, which are the written version of this. It's, it's the little, um, it's, it's like a chart that shows you all of these frets. So you don't have to try to remember this. You can read it as well, whatever works best for you, okay? So playing it one last time and I'm gonna say the frets out loud. Open, three, five, open, three, six, five, open, three, five, three, open, open. And then since this is a rock song, feel free to headbang. Please don't smash your guitar. Not a good idea. It belongs to the school, guys. But happy playing, and let me know if you need help. And uh, rock on.